All right, guys, we're going to get back at this Winchester 94. We're going to put it back together here. Um, start at the front end of the gun here. Get this guy on. Get our barrel band. Um, you really want to pay attention to which direction this thing came off um, because the way it meets up with the wood, um, if, if this were inverse, you would have a hell of a time. You'd really have a hard time fighting this thing to get it on. Um, Get that there, you want that to match, so you put it on like that, roll it over. Mag tube, make sure that these little the, the divots in this are facing the barrel when you get it in there. And you want to make sure it gets seated all the way in the receiver, heard it click there, everything appears to line up. Let's see, make sure we find our tip that we need for that. Just the, mind you. I think that'll work. Get that one started in, in there. We'll get this one started in here. Make sure those holes are lined up. And I want to start these threads um, without putting any kind of real torque on it. Like that. Let's see if I can get this one here to start. That one's going to need to be torqued a little bit. This gun has been um, problematic to say the least from start to finish. Um, most of these 94s are. Uh, they can be extremely frustrating in disassembling and reassembling. So as you're going through it, take your time, pay attention. Um, the screws don't need a lot of torque. That's plenty. They they hold up. The whole idea of these screws is to put tension on these bands. Like so, as it squeezes in, just keep in mind that you don't need a lot of torque on them. Just enough. They stay tight and don't back out. Um, actually, if anything, those are probably a little a little overdone, but that's okay. Alright, move on to the rearward of the gun. Um, I had already started putting this in before it dawned on me. I didn't have a camera on or anything. Um, your loading gate, but it just stick it in there, turn a little screw, no big deal. Um, kind of in, in the reverse order, um, our locking block will drop in. And then, or not, jerk. Um, we're going to put our bolt in. Kind of let our locking block kind of slide up there and hold that together. Um, now that that's in, we can put our lower tang on. And we'll slide it in there. And we'll give her the little tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. That probably went too far. Yeah, I sure did. Let's see if I can un untap her. And you four. There you go. It's being so tight, so you gotta gotta use the hammer to move it back and forth. Now we're gonna put our hammer in, and you're gonna have to fight the trigger a little bit. Um, the spring tension on the trigger. That guy. We'll get our screw in the hoe. Tight enough. Like I said, nothing needs to go in real tight. Um, we're gonna put our mainspring in. So you need to hook that little uh, that little tail there on the hammer. Now you want to make sure that your hammer is all the way forward. Um, up here, or you're going to be really, really fighting this spring, and it's going to cause you all kinds of headache. Take your screw and get it threaded, and make sure you don't cross thread that. Um, you will, you will hate yourself later if you do this. 
Um, I just kind of start it. That bit's a little too big for that. There we go. Get them in there, make sure that those threads are not cross threaded. And you can push down a little back pressure back here and just tighten her up. And again, you don't have to put a lot of pressure on this. I mean, just eh, that that spring will keep that screw in there. That, and you've got this little tension screw back here that's going to do, um, it's going to put even more tension on it. So it's going to hold up. And this doesn't need to be in there very tight either. Just, just a snuggin. Just boop. I mean, I just really didn't put a whole lot on there. Just kind of give it a little bit. Um, you're either going to break screwdriver bits or whatever. It's going to torque you off a little bit. Um, I'm going to put the magazine cap and whatever else. I'm going to keep going what we're doing here. So, your uh, cartridge lifter. You can stick it back in here. And... If you, if you fold it down this way, you're not going to fight that spring as much. But you can take your two screws and get them started in the receiver. And these things really don't need a whole lot of torque. They're, they're just there to, as a guide, not really a... They're not holding anything in per se. So, get that guy in there. And boop. Tight. Man, my nose is itching like crazy. What the hell? Okay. So, in my impatience and brilliance, um, one of the the things that you're going to have to to make sure to use is that when you get this lever put back in, these slots, man, they they've got to fit back in that um, that locking block back here. So. Let me get it. There we go. Line it up like that. And then in the process, make sure you get your... There we go. Get all that done. It fits in just like that. You can actually close the lever if you want. You can put that pin in there as a guide or whatever. And... Put it all in lock up. if it'll cooperate and just get it to line up there with your hole and drop your pin back in there Boop. I need to tap that little pin in it's good and seated yeah. okay now we'll get our pin all the way through here all right all the way through it should slide in pretty easy. <coughs> Drop this little screw in here. And tighten it down. Toit, toit, look at a toit. And just a little. A little snuggin. There. We'll put this screw in here. Same thing, just a little snuggin. Nothing major. Let's see. Two back there. You over there somewhere. You over there somewhere. You here somewhere. Now we'll put the stock back on. Make sure it's seated. Tang screw. And that's a big wide sum bitch. Not quite that wide. A little less wide. There we go. Let's 
works a little bit taut. It's all together there. And then I'll put our mag tube spring and in play it back in. That's your follower. Ram it down in there. This is something you're going to have to be mildly patient with. This There's a lot of spring here, and it's going to want to come jumping back out at you every chance it gets. Make sure you get the right side up so that threaded end of the wood faces towards the bottom of the gun and push it in there and hold it in so you can get your screw get it started and get it down in there good and snug and that's all she really wrote there um, the sight hood on this is just a huge pain in the butt because you've got to get this thing to, to spread out and still get it in the gun so I think what I'm going to try is see we'll it's spring still, so you're really not going to bend it up or anything, or you shouldn't. mistakes can we make with it here? Uh, I wonder. Well, you know, fuck the side hood. Um, you can figure out how to get on there yourself, man. It's it's gonna take some thinking. Um, yeah, that's all there is to these guns, man. They're they're damn decent rifles, and they tend to last. Even the Post 64s are they're all right guns, man. Um, they're 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 just a total pain in the ass all the way around. Um, to be honest with you, I'm pretty well fed up with this thing, so I'm turning the camera off. So you want to know the real reason that Winchester went out of business? Because these goddamn front sight hoods. This is why. Winchester, this is where you fucked up. 